back with our master class and we're looking at how we can collaborate with other teachers as we plan for these classes. So let's say that we have made this content but now we want to make sure we're sharing this with other teachers. Let's go to manage class. You do not want to share class. If you share the class that'll actually just send someone else a copy of what you have and you guys will not be collaborating on the same class. So instead, you need to go to your roster. In the roster, your students should already be here as in the sections except for your master class. Your master class is going to have an empty roster. You can go to teachers and then add another teacher to your master class. So the purpose of this is to add a teacher for you to collaborate with. That way you can share your content, you guys can do the content together. Now I'm going to add another teacher from Dallas ISD. And now Nestor and I both could collaborate on this class, add content, copy the content to our own classes, that way we can share. So again, you do not want to share the class that sends a copy. You'll want to actually edit the roster and add teachers. This is also where you'll be able to see parents of your classes. Your students will be listed in your other classes. And here you go. So the other things we wanted to tell you about this class is when you go to manage class, you have a few other things you can look at. Later on, if you want to get advanced, you can edit badges and assign badges to students using that kind of gamification or that way to challenge them or provide rewards. You can edit your theme such as the different colors that you use. You can view the page as a student. This is great because it does take away a little bit more of the distraction. You don't see the editing. You can see whether or not the entire image shows that kind of thing and you can see their focus mode. So let's look at what focus mode does. If I have several content blocks for them to go through, we'll say that that's content block two. Let's put on another one. We'll add content block three. Put this one at the bottom of the page and so on. There are different blocks for them to move through. If I, they are, as a student, they can look at focus mode, and focus will allow them to look at one thing at a time and then go to the next block. This is great for students who struggle with looking at everything on the screen and get distracted. It'll take them through each of the blocks one by one. It does go down the column first and then down another column. Also, if you would like to change the look of that, you can go to your manage page, page settings, layout, there are some other things you can do here. We're going to go to page layout, and this is where you can choose to put everything in one column if you like. Now I don't have to worry about columns, there's just one thing at a time for my students to look at. This helps with focus as well. Another thing in the manage class menu Viewing analytics, you can actually see how many times your students access the course. You can import content from other teachers and restore content. Restoring content is great because if you are collaborating on a course, and let's say you've added this nice pretty calendar, but uh-oh, another teacher is collaborating with you and they delete the calendar. And you thought, no, I, I want that calendar there. My students need that calendar. I'm going to go to manage class, restore content, and it's going to show you everything that's been deleted for the last month, so one month. And you can find what was deleted and click restore. So you don't have to worry about collaborating and things disappearing because you can bring it back. And there's our calendar. So those are some features of the managed class that you might want to use, especially the roster where you can add other teachers to collaborate. 
viewing pages as a student, how not to share the class. You can view analytics to see how often students access and restoring content if something is accidentally deleted. Make sure that you have made your class active, not the master class, but the ones that the students are actually in so that they can view the content that you've created. We're going to go over a few other tips and tricks in another video, but thank you for watching.